This is Top Gamer 007 here, and we have a couple of news articles for today. Links to all news articles and timestamps is gonna be in the description below. And don't forget, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and let's get started. Let's talk about Project Octopath Traveler and its possible release window of Spring 2018. Nintendo UK highlighted the demo availability in a news post on the official website. Towards the end, Nintendo says that Project Octopath Traveler is launching in Spring 2018. First of all, this game should be a must buy for all Nintendo and Square Enix fans. And every one of those type of fan base should be enjoying this game. Look at that, the retro art style with the newish HD, that 2D HD. It's amazing. It's an amazing RPG. I played the demo. It's everything that I thought it would be since the Nintendo January Switch Showcase back then. And I knew this game would be amazing and it still impressed me. After playing this one hour, one hour and 20 minutes, I took around that time demo it tells me that this is an amazing game i must buy 40 60 i don't care anymore i, I was gonna say well in the switch of it, I said this is gonna be an amazing rpg it's gonna be like like i am sasuna 40 dollars but this game i could pay 60 and it's still i will still not complain i won't even complain at all for this game like this game is almost perfect i was always hoping that it was spring 2018 or early 2018 or around that time but this this gave me hope that it's gonna be coming way earlier and i hope it's early march 2018 i know i'm acting a lot but i hope it's early uh march actually i don't want it to be like the 21st just like i said for xenoblade chronicles 2 for when they said winter 2017 um or winter holiday 2017 i hope I hope it's more in the earlier way. I want to at least reach the financial year, the end of the financial year. Let's move on to NBA 2K18 Switch news. After a huge success of NBA 2K18 on the Nintendo eShop, currently at third place on the Nintendo eShop bestsellers list, but that's the good news. We have some bad news and that one is one huge issue that players have encountered in NBA 2K18 and that is corrupt and lost save data in my career. It's definitely an issue on Switch and other versions of 2K18 are affected. This includes the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One version. A patch was released for NBA 2K18 on the Xbox One and Switch users still have to be waiting for a fix for this issue. Let's make this quick with some 3DS news. A new update for the 3DS went live called version 11.6.0-39 and Nintendo didn't say anything about this update except everyone's favorite quote, quote, further improvements to overall system stability and other minor adjustments have been made to enhance the user experience. Everyone's favorite quote, right? Let's continue on with a rumor with a possible release date of Doom. And that possible release date is December 13. And check the retailer has list due to be coming out on December 13, 2017. There is no official word yet if this will be the release date, but we do know Doom is supposed to be coming out in holiday season. So this will be very well might be it. This is a really a perfect Perfect time to release this game. <laughs> you wait, you thought I was serious? It's a horrible time! For my opinion, this is a horrible time. Two weeks after Xenoblade Chronicles 2, this is a not enough time for me to explore the whole world to move on. That's impossible. I wouldn't I don't I don't even think I'm gonna get this at launch. Like, I, I'm excited for Doom, but this is a little bit too close to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. A little bit too close. Come on, you need at least two months away from any game release. Like, two months is two months. Because right after Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I'm planning to play Lost Fear in January, I think. It's January that Lost Fear is going to come out. So, what? I can't play Doom. Doom have to be pushed until 
after I beat Lost Fear. And then maybe Project Octopath Traveler just come after that. Like, these RPGs is too many games to play that I have to sink myself into. And Doom, man, I already played that on PC. So, this is like under my priority list. Let's continue to some Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Switch news. You can play all of Xenoverse 1 story content on Xenoverse 2 on a Nintendo Switch. Yes, that's that's almost that's crazy that they hide this not hide this feature but they didn't market this feature as like a one collection and if you are interested on unlocking this mode yeah it's really simple to get as soon as you finish one story in Universe 2 you can access the story from the original so after completing the boo saga this is an example after you completing the boo saga in Universe 2 for instance the Universe 1 version will be unlocked so if any Switch owner says that they're not playing the second Xenoverse game because they didn't play the first one, just tell them Xenoverse 2 is basically Resident Evil Revelation Collection, but for Dragon Ball Xenoverse. I call this Dragon Ball Xenoverse Collection only on the Nintendo Switch. Square Enix fans rejoice! Final Fantasy IX arrives on the PlayStation 4 today and it includes trophy support. Yeah, like we already had on Steam. Let's just strike away over a little bit. Also, it comes with a custom theme designed by Tashiki Asaana. I probably butchered those names. Square Enix fans, get ready to buy Final Fantasy IX for $20 for the fourth time. All right, let's be a little bit serious about Final Fantasy IX coming on PS4. But it's going to be $20.99 as the normal price but right now but for a limited time offer it'd be discounted to $16.79 bad new Sonic Adventure fans Sonic Adventure 3 might not be coming for a long time there was an interesting article on Polygon that talks with Azazuka probably put your again oh these Japanese names hurts me Azazuka explains quote I hear people saying that they want Adventure 3, but the path that we're on and Adventure 3, what fans want to be, might not be an advancement of the series. So I don't want to do an Adventure 3 and step the franchise back just to give the fans what they want. Uzuzuka also explained that Sega's trying to advance the series, Sonic Team isn't interested in revisiting Sonic Adventure just for the sake of it. Uzuzuka noted, quote, from the developer standpoint, every Sonic game that we are making is taking a new step and advances, furthering the game in a new direction, and that dictates where the Sonic series has been going. He continued, quote, if we can get the gameplay to evolve and get to a place where Sonic Adventure 3 makes sense, then we might see an Adventure 3 come out, but we don't want to take the entire series back to where it was just to make people happy. We want to advance the idea of what a Sonic game is. So until Sega make a legendary Sonic game that could advance the whole series to be huge competition to Mario, maybe, just maybe we could get a Sonic Adventure 3. <laughs> you know, you well have known. That means no Sonic Adventure 3 for a very long time unless Sonic Forces just surprise everyone for a $40 game. So let's move on to the last news of today. Sonic Forces DLC was announced. The DLC is called Sonic Forces Dash Episode Shadow. And the best part is it will be free and be launching at the launch of Sonic Forces. There was also gameplay shown at the Sonic the Hedgehog YouTube channel. Apparently this will be a prequel content that quote explore Shadow's allegiance, the fate of Team Dark, and the origins of the mysterious villain Infinite. I am still confused why Sega said this is called DLC. You mean an episode that's in the game that you can play. Sega just want good press for Sonic Forces to say, oh, well, this game released some with some free DLC. It's not like a pre-order bonus. It's a free DLC that we just give to you. So, and the game will be released. It's not like a repackaged version 
like Skyrim and they come with all the DLC or something. They the game will not come out yet, so you can't consider that DLC. It's just an episode in the game. It's cool that Shadow Hedgehog will be playable without PC mods controlling everything. Based on the trailer, he seems similar to Sonic gameplay, so I shouldn't have nothing to worry about about his gameplay. Like the hero, not the hero character, the avatar character. I still have that that weird thing. Like I hope that's not gonna be a werehog situation in in Sonic Forces. I could tell this is going to be a excellent bonus content to addition to the main game. So yes, it's about time to end my video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like videos like this one to help expand my channel and share the video if you think it can form someone else and comment below about your opinions about these articles. So this is Top Gamer 007 and I see you in the next one. Peace.